The founder and patron of Agape Family Care, Prophetess Ruth Makandiwa, assigned the Agape team to embark on a journey to Binga, which is situated 1,000 kilometers northwest of the capital city of Zimbabwe. Their assignment was to extend love to the people in the rural areas of Binga. Prophetess Ruth and Agape Family Care have donated to various charities and organizations in different parts of the country, transforming lives for the better. The team started their journey on a Wednesday and traveled for almost six hours resting for the night in the city of Plawayo. Providence the Ruth has always been a shoulder to lean on for those who are underprivileged in one way or the other. She has drilled boreholes in many different communities, distributed food and clothes in many villages and prisons, providing school fees for thousands of school children and orphans and widows are being taken care of on a daily basis. With Binga being so far away, the team continued on the second day to reach Binga town where they met the Binga district administrator. Thank you for coming. We are waiting for you to see <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the advanced team. Hi. 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 Yeah. Thank you for coming to Binga. It's one of the poorest areas in Matibeleland North. Mm -hmm. Not really poor in the sense of the things around, but poor in the the uh, the school. Most of the women are highly illiterate. Mm -hmm. So that's another challenge. And most of the girls get married around 12. 18 years old, so we've got a lot of young girls getting married. Right. They are very traditional. You see a lot of women, they hear the traditional woman smokes. Oh. So she takes her, she's the one who takes the pipes more, yeah. more than the men. <laughs> so she sits for, it's mostly the senior women, not just young women. Mm -hmm. it's, it's part of their culture, so I think uh, you have to live it as it is because she will be relaxing and sitting with her grandchildren, talking while she's smoking. The women mostly are highly illiterate, as I've said, but um, I think, uh, and then we have the other aspect which makes it very difficult again for the woman, the polygamous part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mostly the women are married three or four, five, six. I've got one of my chiefs who's got eight wives, so mm -hmm. there's that. But they all stay in one Yard, Compound. yes, one yard. The first wife here, the second wife there, the third wife there. They are all in that same yard. And then uh, Uman Lovu, if she has, if she's going out to a meeting, she can leave her children with anyone. Mm -hmm. They'll be cooked for. 
they, they actually are mostly like sisters. Mm-hmm. Okay. That part is very good. But mm-hmm. now, because of the economic hardships, you find it, um, they try by all means to get pregnant all the time. Because woman Lovo might have more privileges because she's expecting a baby. Oh, or she has a young yeah, baby, so she'll be getting cooking oil, what, 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 all the nice, nice things. Yeah, ah. So now the other one now has to make sure she gets pregnant as well mm. this year. So you and see, if you go to yeah. the hospital, you'll see a lot of pregnant women, and you wonder mm. what. But the issue is that issue of polygamy, and everybody wanting to get married, mm. and getting pregnant at the so almost the same time. You have the three or four wives. Almost all of them being pregnant at the same time. Yet, right now, we're having the planting season. People are supposed to be in the field. Mm. But now, everyone is in pregnant. Yes, because they are trying to what? To win the favor from the men who is only one. And that's another aspect which makes the women weaker. Mm. One, you are all the time you're having, you are getting pregnant. Secondly, you are not literate. And you are not able to get anything from the, 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 the weather pattern here. We have got three regions in one where we have small grains, where the rainfall pattern is not so lengthy and not so heavy. Mm-hmm. Here we, ha- we encourage them to actually plant small grains and the conservation farming. Mm-hmm. So they, they actually depend on small grains, that is in Yawuti, wheat and uh, the other small grains, which actually germinate even after the rains have gone. Mm-hmm. So they actually use that again for their staple food. Mm-hmm. Then we've got another area where totally before I get to the totally zero, mm-hmm. we have uh, areas which are along the Zambezi now. And some of the people who are coming in tomorrow, they will be coming from Siapo, where there actually is a lot of fish, and just like here, mm-hmm. a lot of fish from Tunga further down. But the issue is they buy the fish or the fish itself. So the children now, the under fives usually, we have a problem as a district because the under fives are un- they're stunted in growth. Mm. And Zimvak has reported that instead of going down, the record is going up. So we've got under fives still not getting a balanced diet. diet. Yet, those are the areas where there are fish. fish. Oh, so, hey. so the fish are it's being... For sale only. Uh-huh. So. And selling. So, so that's a problem in Siapua. Not only in Siapua. Almost all the fishing camps. Hi. The women and are what so busy. The, the the money that they get from their projects and their sales. Usually it's the men who do the fishing. It was traditionally the women who used to do the fishing, oh. but eventually the men came in and they're the ones who, most of the rigs are men. At night you see a lot of lights, you'd be thinking it's Zambia, mm-hmm. but it would be the rigs going fishing and mostly it's men. Mm-hmm. But the women who fish are very few. We, if, if, if it's risky going out there, they're crocodiles. Yeah. And mm-hmm. right. But the men go out there the whole night. And they come here early in the around five, six, they come back, sell the fish, get the money, go drink it. Yeah. Oh, go and get another wife, it depends on the wife. <laughs> and, and the wife is 12 years old. Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> even worse. Well, and the other part which actually affects us, even though we're next to the Zambezi, is uh, water. A lot of women are suffering, they spend hours and hours in the Look, going to get water either in the river bank and on a well or going to a boho, but it's a distance. Mm-hmm. She'll come with that bucket of water and then she has a lot of other chores to, to, to do. Yeah. And then um, the issue of water affects us in the sense that even we're next to the Zambezi, mm-hmm. the boho situation, we have a lot of bohos that are there, but they are salty. So it affects us. Mm-hmm. So they don't want that water because you can't drink it. Yeah, you can actually even take a cup, but you can't drink it. It's salty. And some places it's even tastes like um, egg. It's, it's a mm. bit sourish. Mm. It, it's just not. Uh, it's just. It's not palatable. Mm. So they'd rather go to the river again. But and going to the river is a distance. distance again. So that at least you get a bucket or two buckets from clean water for drinking. And then this other water from the bowl you can just wash it.